I'm going to be showing you the best settings for Season 2, Chapter 3. These settings are going to help you with the new guns and new mobility for this season. It will make you absolutely crazy on Nintendo Switch. Also, when you're buying this battle pass, make sure to use code Codium. How you're going to do that is by going into the item shop, pressing Y on your Switch controller, putting in Codium. Now that we've put in code Codium, let's buy the battle pass. We've officially got the battle pass, guys. But with that being said, let's get on into the settings. So guys, on the video page, have brightness at 125% and have Trice Nope 7. In my opinion, this looks the best in game, so I'd recommend having them on. Also, when I loaded in today, also download high resolution textures was on. However, I'd definitely recommend to have this one off. You may be playing at a lower resolution, however, that is much, much better on Nintendo Switch so that you get more FPS. From what I've heard, this season really does damage your FPS. So anything to get the best FPS, you know. And obviously the same with the high resolution textures reminder. Have this one off as well. I should be having show FPS on, however, I'd recommend you guys to have this off. Having this off means that your Switch can just run instead of having to calculate how much FPS you have in each game. And the same with power saving mode, have this one off. Power saving mode literally destroys the Nintendo Switch, so there's no reason why you should have this one on. Before I show you the rest of my settings, please make sure to like and subscribe and notifications on. It really helps out my channel and it's completely free. If you do do that, let me know in the comments and I'll definitely respond to you. So guys, now onto the game section. For matchmaking region, I have this one on Europe. I'd recommend you guys have this on any server that you play on. For example, if you play on the NAE servers, have it on NAE, not also. Toggle sprint, it was on at the beginning, however, I'd recommend having this one off. Also open doors on is good because it just saves some time and mantle activation this was added newly this season and i would definitely recommend that you use it on hold jump basically once you jump you just hold that jump button to grab onto a nearby ledge which is like the cool effect that they showed in the trailer next for combat have hold swap pickup on toggle targeting is off mark danger when targeting is on also pick up weapons as the reason the auto pick up weapons should be off is because whenever you have a decent loadout and you automatically pick up a weapon you can sometimes mess up your loadout a way you can make sure you don't mess up your loadout is by having preferred item slots on so i have it on and i have slot one shotgun slot two smg slot three consumable item slot four sniper slash bow and slot five an assault rifle I think these are the best and I think you should copy these down. And because of the preferred item slots, I don't need to have auto sort consumables to the right. For building, these are very important. And reset building choices on. Have the disable pre-edit option is on, even though it gives you input delay, it's really, really useful. However, if you can get used to it with it off, have it off because it saves you so much input delay. And turbo building, have this on. I know at the beginning of the season, building is not on. However, if you're watching this later in the season, building should be back on. Confirm edit and release, I have this off because learning double edit binds and having confirm edit and release off is really, really good. Obviously, you contextual tips have these off and for the extra game options these are quite important since it is rumored that planes and helicopters are going to be coming back have invert view off have invert view airborne controls off because obviously you know planes if they come back and i do know for sure that tanks are in the game which is pretty mental turbo delete and creative mode have this on and tap search interact have it on basically tap search slash interact means when you tap a chest only once it would automatically open port performance stats have this off or on disabled. So now onto the game UI section. I have a hard scale at 92%. However, anything between 70% and 100% is fine. So basically have all of them on except for show spectator count and the bottom four, which are quest progress, rect call ammo indicator, control prompts, and creative runtime performance stats. If you want to become an absolute creative warrior, then have jar on. However, if you're just looking to get good aim, then stick with it off. If you do want to become a creative warrior though, do copy down these settings, the most important ones are going to be the advanced gyro sense, basically the ones on the screen. Fast multiply being at 1.8 is also important. The most, the most important thing is having this tightening threshold at 50 and the smoothing window at around about 0.1, 0.105 is what I have it at. And dead zone having this at zero. Also filtering off controller vibration. And the advanced gyro space, make sure these are on player because otherwise you're going to have to be facing the switch just like how you had to play the Wii back in the day. And keep all of these at standard so guys now the most important setting of them all the controller options so firstly have controller also run on because before in, in the game section we turned off toggle sprint so having this on is important also build immediately or build a pro have this on i've seen people who have this off it's not a good idea having this off at a whole time there is a reason why i have this and I'm going to explain this to you guys right now. Basically, when you go into combat controls, right here, you can see that I have, I have one bind with switch mode slash edit, one bind with just switch mode, and another bind with just edit. This switch mode slash edit bind is what it may come up as. People may think that I'm editing with this button right here. However, I'm not. That's just for less input. If you guys have switch mode slash edit and switch mode and edit on different binds, then either put this one to the max or to the very minimum and you'll get basically no edit delay. For some reason, I found the perfect slide hold time, that being 0.113 seconds. Basically, it's just above 
how much time it takes me to crap. But it's different for everyone, so maybe vary this by around about 0.10. Definitely recommend having vibration off. Vibration is just not it, and I don't really see the use in it. On to sensitivity, this is basically the most important part, so make sure you're listening. Build mode at 1.8 and have edit mode at 1.6. It doesn't really matter what you have, as long as there's a 0.2 gap in between them. I found that that keeps them balanced, so it's really, really good. And obviously use advanced options. There's no reason why you shouldn't be using advanced options. It just helps you find the best setting for you. So for look sensitivity, I have this at 38% for both of them. I'd say you can bring this up by around about five. I would say a max have it at 43, but I have mine at 38. Anything between 38 and 43, as long as they're even. If I have a 39 look horizontal speed, I should also have a 39 look vertical speed. I have zero for all of these because I'm not a boost kind of person, even though I use exponential. Okay, okay. I think exponential is better. Just that's my opinion. I'm used to it, all right? Don't flame me in the comments. An instant boost whilst building. I used to have this on, but I've recently changed it. I don't really see much of a difference. I have ADS look horizontal speed and look vertical speed at 8%. I used to have this a lot higher and make this setting much more complicated. However, I've simplified it down and 8% is just the perfect setting for me. If I were you a test around, maybe put it at 7%, maybe put it at 8%, maybe put it at 10%. Test them out and see which one works for you. All of these ones I have at a zero. I used to have 0.20 look dampening time, but I've completely scrapped that now. And I do play X. Oh, I've admitted it. I've admitted it. I'm just not a linear guy. I couldn't get used to it. I feel like it's just too, too fast almost. And aim assist. I have aim assist at 99%. And dead zone, this is the perfect dead zone. If I were you, I would definitely copy this. So 5% and 10%. 5% on the left, 10% on the right. If you have drift, maybe 10% on the left, 15% on the right, as long as there's a difference between the left and the right. For volume, as long as you have your main one above all the others, it's fine, but volume doesn't really matter, as long as you can hear everything. Subtitles, we all know this by now. Off, extra small, white, none, and clear. Get you the least amount of input delay possible. Obviously, have visual sound effects on. Just keep these at the ones you have because they'll probably fit for you. So now, guys, I'm on combat controls, and these are what I have. I play Claw. I would like to make this very, very clear. I play Claw. So if you guys want to switch to exactly everything that I have, don't have Edit on X unless you're playing Claw. Have Edit on L3, which is where I have my toggle pickaxe, and just switch them to a run, and then you'll have good settings. Now, on Edit Controls, this is where my double edit binds come into play. I have Select on ZR. Reset on ZL and confirm on L. Ability controls, this is basically the same thing. And dead zone, I've already went for it, five and 10. However, if you do want to get your dead zone to absolutely zero, you just need to be pressing the reset button, which I believe you can do that by taking your switch out of your dock and then pressing reset on both of them and it works. So we're now on the account and privacy settings and I'd like to mention a few things on. I'll have your friend input permission on anyone. I've show text chat as on, can receive gifts as on. Also have show social notifications as on. Make sure on the gameplay privacy that you have everything off. It just gets rid of some inputs in there, you know? So now that you guys have got the best Nintendo Switch settings, I definitely recommend you guys to watch this video over here since it's me telling you how to improve on Nintendo Switch. This literally gives you everything, maps, how to edit faster, everything. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe and notifications on so you don't miss a video or a stream and peace.